Welcome one, welcome all. Whack week one. Whack week one. I had a great time in Ohio, I'm not gonna lie. I was not excited, but I actually had a really fun time. So let's just get straight into it. Day one, let's do it. Hi, I'm about to leave for week one. I hope to get there at like four, maybe 3.30 and be able to hack him tonight, but We'll just have to see. Predictions, expectations for this horse show. They're on the floor, okay? I'm not expecting anything. They haven't been ridden in a while. It's been really cold, so wishing myself the best of luck. Okay, so these are just some quick flicks of me schooling. Um, he was pretty fresh this day, as you can probably tell. I only have this video and the one you just saw, um, but he was pretty good. We jumped every jump in the ring. He was just really, really quick. I was really having a whoa a lot, so not ideal. Hi vlog, I'm Isabel. Violet's right there. We just arrived, I just rode. Sorry, I forgot to vlog when I got here. Got my cereal going. I the vibes are good, it's really humid here. How's everybody feeling? Isabel had a rough day. It's been a <laughs> two out of 10. Two out of 10 day for Isabel. Violet, how are you feeling? I had a good trip with the meter this morning. I need to get the meter checked tomorrow. Yes, Violet. I'm doing the 15 to 17 tomorrow and should be We're good. We're gonna try and not get taken off with today. Um, life goals. <laughs> Really? Life goals indeed. Um, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep you updated. Hey vlog. Milo is still chowing away. It's been hours. We just ate dinner. He does get like eight pounds of food. We're getting hyped for tomorrow. Hi, baby. <laughs> hey Milo. He's so handsome. Okay, please ignore this like hat situation because my hair looks crazy, but look how nice this room is. Oh my gosh, that is literally insane. This is on the showgrounds. It's like literally a hundred feet away from the barn. Hey vlog, I'm about to go to bed. I am so happy about today. We just hit 8,000, so that is super duper cool. And also like, it's just been a really good day. I had a good ride on Leo. I had just like good vibes all around. And there's a hula hooping competition on Saturday and I might have to do that, so. Everybody get ready. But now I'm just gonna do my like night routine and then I'm gonna go to bed. It's like 11.30. Day one recap, not much went down. Had fun with my friends. We explored the like complex. It's freaking huge. That thing is a maze. And Leo was pretty good. He was pretty fresh, which made me a little bit nervous, but I was expecting it. I would say pretty average, pretty average day in the life, but let's move on to day two. Good morning channel. It is nine o'clock. I have to be at the barn at 9.30. So that was probably not <laughs> great decision making on my part. But I have to remember to put in my earrings and then I'm just gonna do like really quick makeup and put on my outfit and then we're ready to go. So I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, look like I'm a mess, but I brought all my stuff and I'm ready to go. Okay, so these are my 15 to 17 age group act trips. Um, there was a rumor that it was gonna be three foot, but I don't think these jumps are three foot. I don't really know. Usually it's three three, but they were combining it with the 12 to 14, which is usually three foot, so I have no idea what was going on, but um, here we are. I didn't really love either of these trips. I felt like they were both pretty mediocre. He was like just pretty fresh. Like you can see to jump one, he kind of runs away with me a little bit. Sorry that these videos aren't from the best angle, um, but the rest of them are from a better angle. Anyway, so I, I tried my best to woe, but according to my trainer, I was kind of locking up in his face, like, and it was making him, um, go more. So then into this line, you can see I kind of had to ride up into it because I just saw that distance and you can see I really, really had to sit back and hold him and we still barely, barely made the six. Um, he does have a huge stride and so when he's just strong like this, it's really hard for me to like keep it together. Um, so this was just not our prettiest round. We, we're just fighting a lot as you can see, like I just look really stiff and tense and he looks angry <laughs> and it's just not the cutest. Um, you can see I'm just throwing his head a little bit there. That's just because I'm not moving enough with my elbow. This line, I really had to woe to get the six. You can really see me woeing. And he was just like, girl, I might not do the six. And I was like, you better do the freaking six, horse. And he was like, okay, fine, I'll do the six. But he was like, not that down. Not that joyous about it. Um, this, I don't know what happened here. He tried to stop. And I was like, girl excuse me no and I kicked him forward and he did it which is great um but I don't know why he tried to stop I think he just thought he was done like he thought we were doing our hunter's circle um so he was just not expecting it and then we're just gonna come back around here to this lovely final oxer 
I think I missed to this jump. Uh, maybe I saw it the first time. Oh, yeah, I missed that. Um, I just pushed him out of the turn. Just too much canner. He's just so up this day. Um, so here we are for our second age group X trip. This one was definitely worse than the first. I feel like in the first one I was riding better and he was not as good. And then in this one, he was better, but I was not as good. So first jump, obviously we have a lot of canner. You can tell. I kind of get thrown over his neck over this jump. Um, you'll see this jump better like in my derby videos, but it's like a hedge with um, a stick on top of it. Once again, really having a woe for the six, and it's I feel like it's worse that time. And then the last line of this course, it's even worse. But um, I don't know. You can see just how short my reins are and how tense we look. Um, I feel like at this horse show, I really got my like seat position down for the equitation because I really like to be like fully seated. Um, but it kind of doesn't look the best for my equitation and. It's not always the best for him because he kind of gets driven forward by my seat sometimes. So I feel like I really perfected my half seat. So in these videos, it's not so good. But by the end, I feel like it got a lot better. This distance was cray. Um, I really could have gone with him a lot better. You can see I just totally got left behind pulling on his face. Not what you want to do when you ask your horse to take a long spot and they actually do it. Don't pull on their face. Maybe don't punish your horse for doing what you asked. Um, good idea, Caroline. A little bit long. A little bit long in the in and out. And he has a big stride, so we were a little bit deep out. But, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. Um, coming through this turn, we're just fighting a lot. You can see he's throwing his head. He's like, no. And then I'm just like, whatever. I don't even care. We jump in, and then I'm like, oh, we got to slow down. And we barely slow down enough. You can see we barely put that extra stride in. So I gave him a little pat because I felt bad for him. Vlog while it's ready. She's getting ready to go do her meter 10. I just did the 15 to 17. It was low-key really bad. <laughs> we were just a little feral. We were a little bit feral. <laughs> but it's okay. We're going to get it to before the derby. Violet's ready to go. She's more than ready. I believe in her. <laughs> hey, vlog. I have no idea what time it is. I'm about to get on for the derby. Um, I <laughs> I'm feeling kind of scared. My friend's not doing it with me anymore, which is kind of sad. Wish me luck. I hope I ride better. He got a tube of sin chill so hopefully he's chilled out this derby was freaking magical i was so happy and i am so happy and this is probably one of the best trips i've ever put in on him um we did give him a tube but before this of sin chill which i've never used on him before but we usually use cavalier take it easy if he needs a tube to chill him out a little bit but um they didn't have it at the vet farm vet thing so we tried um, this new thing, Sin Chill, and it actually works really well for him. I feel like it keeps the energy in his body, but just quiets his mind down a little bit, which is really what we need. Um, the first jump of this derby, absolutely cruel. Why are you making me jump this wall as the first jump? Look at him. He was like, hell no, I'm not doing that. And I was like, yes, you are. So we jumped the wall, a little bit crazy, but you know what? It's okay. Um, I just came through here. You can see still a little quick, but a lot better. Um, this jump thankfully came up much, much better. You can see I'm kind of like pumping with my elbows a lot. I don't know what that is, but it's kind of like a new habit. Um, I'm doing a lot of overriding recently, which I don't know what that's about. This jump, a little bit deep. I could have woed a little bit sooner, gotten him back in the corner. That's kind of a common theme throughout my riding. But I like my seat a lot better in this video. Like, can you just see how much straighter my back looks and how much more stable I look? Like, I don't look more stable in my leg. Like, I think I was just tired or nervous or I don't know, but um, this jump was probably the worst on course. I just ran him at it out of the corner and landed a little too early on him. Um, that jump, fabulous. I was really nervous because that was a whoa eight for everybody. So I just really, really bowed it out. Like, we jumped that jump really crooked. You can't really tell, but um, this jump, he just kind of turned a little late. I don't know what was going on with that. I didn't really steer him very well. And then I had to really whoa for the six, but it actually worked out pretty nicely. Um... I just really liked the way I was riding in this derby most of the time. Like, I feel like I just looked really competent and, like, good. I'm a little bit in his face. I definitely could get out of his face a little bit. This was gorgeous. Oh, my lord. Um, we do it even better the second time that we do it. But And this jump? Holy frick, this jump. Oh, bust. Literally, go sorry, that was crazy. But literally, that was gorgeous. Most perfect jump of my life. I came into this derby saying the only thing that I wanted was a good picture of that jump. And we slayed it and we did it. And I was so grateful for that distance. I was so happy with him. Holy heck, I was so happy with this horse. So we got a 71 on this round. Um, 
which at the time I was like, oh, it's a little bit of a harsh score, but the judge was just scoring really harshly. So it's okay. Um, we got a 71, we took four high options. So we actually got, what would that be like a 67? Um, which I feel like is actually fair. Um, but we made it to the second round, which is pretty cool. Um, and sorry, this is just a better angle of the last jump because I need you to understand like how much of a slay that was. Holy frick. Like I yost, I yost, and they got this amazing picture. Look at this picture. Look at this freaking picture. It's my new profile picture. Anyway, so here's round two of the derby. This is the handy. Only the top 12 make it in and I was so shocked. I came into the handy in 10th place. Um, that jump could have rode a lot better. <laughs> could have rode a lot better that jump. I was just nervous he wasn't going to jump it. I started woeing way too early for the trot jump because I like forgot when it was or something. Um, but I kind of finally got it together and woed at the right time. I turned a little late for the trot jump. Could have done that a little handier. Um, I chose to not do very many handy turns just because I didn't want him to feel like it was like a jump off. Like, because he does get like that sometimes. This was gorgeous. Best in and out we've ever ridden in our lives. Look how gorgeous he jumped both of those. So nice. So straight. So fab. Um, coming around here, I feel like we could have been a little bit more balanced, and then I just did the same thing that I did last time, just pushed him at this jump. Thankfully, he still rocked back and jumped it pretty nice, but then I slayed it the same way to this oxer. Like, I just bowed out, gave him that space so he could have his big stride happening, and I didn't have to be in his face too much, and it was perfect. This jump, oh my gosh, gorgeous. Look at that. Wow. Fantastic riding, Caroline. You yost. Um... I'm really good about the ride up on him, but not really the woeing distance. This was pretty good. I feel like we were just kind of jumping this wall kind of awkward because I was really riding him at it and it just looked a little overridden. Um, this, we were a little deep, but it actually doesn't look too bad from this angle. So not mad at it. We got a 74, 75. Yeah, we got a 75 on this round, um, which means we got a 71 before the points for all the high options. So like pretty fantastic like that's actually a really good score for us and I was just so so happy with him like really really happy and we actually ended up getting seventh place which is my best ever derby finish and we got this like really cool ribbon sash situation and I was just so happy about it look how cute we look like I'm just so joyous we just went to the sugar shack oh my god love we got a little haul we did pretty good in the derby. I'm really happy about it. I got seventh, which is a maze. So I was pretty joyous about that. Yeah, we dropped out of the derby because my horse is going through horse is tweaking, but it's okay. Everybody has those moments. It's great. Anyway, I'm just extremely joyous right now. You know, I can't tell because we're in this like really echoey chamber, but <laughs> I'm very happy about it. So we've got our sugar shack and I had a burger too. So we're done for the day. <laughs> we just entered a raffle. <laughs> Let's say a prayer. Isabel, what are our odds? I give it two out of like ten, so it's looking good. <laughs> it's looking good. Guys, we're journeying through a tunnel right now to get to the riders' lounge. We're in this like random little thing. This place is like a maze. It's kind of crazy. Okay vlog, I am home for the night. I just had dinner with my barn and I am absolutely knocked. I'm so tired. Um, today was absolutely amazing. I'm so happy. I said that the one thing I wanted going into the derby was to get a good picture of us going over the um, hedge and we did just that. So that was my goal. I achieved it. Plus I got seventh, which was really cool. And I got a sash. I'm probably just gonna go to bed. I don't show until one tomorrow, um, so I have quite a bit of time. Good night. Day two, I would say it's like up there. Best show day ever. 15 to 17, not my finest moment. Not my most gorgeous riding. Not Leo's best self, but I feel like we kept it together pretty well despite all of the things that I wasn't so thrilled about. The Derby, the Derby. The Derby really reignited my um, zest for life. I think I did a really good job in the Derby of just being confident with my decisions. Like I was making decisions. I felt like he was really relaxed, really focused. And I was just so like pleasantly surprised to be in the second round. Um, he got this like cool sash ribbon thing. So I'm gonna display that. I have to find a way to like put it on my wall up there, but 
I am just so happy. That's my best ever derby placement. We got 71 and 75. I think I already said that. Total two round score of 146. If you saw my community post, then you've seen all of the gorgeous, gorgeous pictures that were taken and the videos are really cool. Oh, I would like to address quickly that um, I did cave and I got clip my horse. So that's why the videos are so fancy looking. It's just nice. It's nice to place well. It's nice to like feel like you have some reward for all of your work. So I was just absolutely freaking thrilled with that day. Okay, so it is now Saturday. I look crazy because I just woke up. I know it's like 12.30, but I don't care. Okay, I was tired. And you know how things can't just like ever just go well? Um, Leo had an allergic reaction to who knows what. He's covered in hives. He had to get a shot to like an antihistamine. I can't show him today, which is unfortunate to say the least, because he was so good yesterday. And it just kind of always feels like something like this has got to happen. I'm gonna go check on him. I, apparently he's fine, but we're gonna go give him a looking at and see how he's doing, I guess. Oh, here's the boy. He's okay. Someone is pissed off over there. Hi. It's been a not so good day for me, but a pretty good day for Violet. Hi Violet, how'd you do? Uh, I was second, meter 10. Second, meter been, 10. Could have been first, but someone decided to use it as their warm up and beat me by two seconds. But it's okay. I'm not sore about it. At all. She's obviously not sore about it <laughs> at all, so <laughs> that's awesome. Wish she cooked up. And no, wish I could have had the opportunity to do the same, but. But Leo decided he wanted to be allergic to the world. But he's fine now. He got his antihistamines and he's chilling, so I should be able to show him tomorrow. I just can't. I just couldn't show him today because it was six hours after he got a shot. Uh, Dip and Knots review with Violet. We'll, guide, we'll let you know how we like them. Just like a crumble review. First time trying Dip and Knots. If you love the crumble review, you're gonna love this. <laughs> okay, Violet. How did you feel about the Dip and Knots? Um, better, better than average. I would say I, it was better than I was expecting. Yeah. I did. They just taste like chocolate. I just made a weird one. Mm -hmm. They're in like a little dot. It's pretty cool. Hand walking the boy. He's a little bit oh, not enjoying it. The hives are coming back a little bit, which is not great, but it's okay. You having fun, buddy? Okay, I just posted a community post and responded to a bunch of comments. I know I look crazy right now. I have a pretty bad headache. I've just been a stressful day and the lights in there are really bright. I'm gonna take a quick nap and then I'm gonna go watch the Grand Prix and probably take Leo on a walk actually before that too. And then we'll see how he's feeling tomorrow. If he's still not doing well, then I just won't show him, but hoping that he improves. So I've been taking him on some walks and stuff just to like get him something to do basically. And I think he finds it a little bit boring, but Hopefully he'll be able to get back to jumping soon. Okay, vlog, we're on the way to the Grand Prix. My hair is just incredibly greasy. Um, have you seen mine? Have you seen mine? Look it, at that. Can I just can I just say something? Has someone with slightly poofy hair? Like, I, I wouldn't say my hair is generally poofy, but this weather, this climate. The humidity in this building. It's dripping. It is, it is cold and humid, and my hair is so frizzy, it is disgusting. So, this is what we're dealing with. Yeah. Am I getting all of the worship boys? Absolutely. Absolutely, and the hockey boys, right, Violet? Yeah. Okay, I just got home from dinner. Um, me and Violet watched the Grand Prix. It was, it was fine. It was underwhelming. Love Izzy Bicewell. She slayed. Um, the second horse road was so cute. Oh my gosh. So for tomorrow, we're just kind of hoping that all of Leo's issues are resolved. Um, he got a second shot of Dex, so hopefully that should help the hives go away. And he was feeling a lot better. I took him on like a hour long walk around. <laughs> of course, what are you doing? What are you doing, crazy boy? Are you licking your bro? That is ridiculous. <laughs> what are you doing? That's the place to be a stop. He loved that. He got some entertainment going. And he should be all ready to go for tomorrow if he's healthy. I'm going to go to bed. It's like 9 p.m. now and I can update you guys on whether or not I actually get to ride Leo tomorrow. Day three, Saturday, obviously. Not great. Um, my horse broke out in hives. He had an allergic reaction. I had a migraine. Not a good time for either of us. 
I basically spent the second half of the day just like sleeping in a dark room. I did not participate in the hula hooping competition. I know everybody's disappointed in me. Um, you know, I wanted to. I wanted to, I really did, but I was just not feeling it. Anyway, um, day two, L, L day. <laughs> everybody i'm sure this is just the absolute most adorable look for me right now leo is feeling much much better so i will be able to show him today i still don't show for a couple hours guys it is freezing it's been like a tad bit cold the whole time we've been here but it's fucking freezing today what? okay i'm about to get on to show in the washington pair of helmet makes me look like a dog but i think all helmets do i'm really nervous i don't know why i'm nervous but anyway it's because I didn't ride yesterday, but wish me luck. Okay, as I said in the last clip, I was really, really nervous coming into this Washington trip, and I'm like not 100% sure why that was. I think it's just because I didn't ride the day before, and it was the 3.6, so I was just a little nervous, but that does not look 3.6. Like, look at that jump. That is not a 3.6 oxer, but whatever. I mean, doesn't bother me. <laughs> so anyway, we are coming here to the first jump. Um, He was so chill this day. We gave him the... um central again and i really think that's his prep like because it just works so well for him um you can see like i just saw this jump long out of the corner i rode up to it gorgeous gorgeous fantastic and it's like he's not running away with me after but he still has the energy to do a ride up like that which i just think is like so awesome like i really really like him on the central this jump freaking freaking gorgeous just gorgeous look at that fantastic um i might have to make an edit of that literally fabulous riding caroline love you so much this jump um not my best work i'm gonna be so honest with you i feel like i was just a little bit over -ridey. like i just push him and then pull him like when i could just sit and relax and do nothing um could have woed a little sooner could have made that a little smoother i feel like i kind of plopped down on his back after the jump which is not that attractive um this jump was pretty good i think yeah that's actually really nice um, and then this line was really nice, too, because it actually rode kind of long, so I didn't have to woe as much as I usually do, because um, he's just got such a big stride. There was only three people in this class. The first girl got an 85, the second girl got, like, an 82, so it was really competitive. Um, coming into this in and out, I saw perfect distance, and he just caught that back rail with his legs, just came down a little too soon. My trainer thinks he was just, like, distracted, didn't notice, just thinking about the out jump. Um, so I got a 76, which means I got an 80 minus 4 for the pull. So really, I mean, that's great for us. We got third, but I don't care. I mean, it was a really competitive class and we still had a competitive score. So I'm just like thrilled with him and so happy with this trip. That was a sleigh and a half, I have to say. I'm gonna go watch my ring for like 20 minutes and then get back on for the juniors, but I'm so happy. Okay, so these juniors trips, you know, not my best work ever. We did the 3-3 juniors instead of the 3-6 juniors because the 3-6 juniors went right after the Washington and sometimes when he's like at the ring too long, he starts to like build and get kind of uneasy. So we just figured we'd take him back, let him chill and do the 3-3 juniors. Um, so this first jump, I didn't notice that he was pooping. So we just got a little deep to it because I rode him up to a distance that I didn't know wouldn't be there. Um, and he's still pooping. I just didn't notice that he wasn't really as sharp off my leg as usual. So I was like, what's going on here? So I did the same thing to this jump, just rode him up to a distance that wasn't there. Um, I mean, it was there, it would have been there, but it just wasn't for that reason. And then that actually made the line ride really nice. Um, so I wish I had noticed that because I probably would have gone for more conservative distances to the first two jumps and that would have kind of saved this round for us, but it's okay because the rest of it was actually really good. Saw a really nice distance into the in and out Again, he was slaying the in and outs this, this, what am I talking about? This horse show. Um, I was just really happy with him. I would really like to get his head carriage a little better because I feel like he looks a little stiff and a little tense sometimes. That jump, really nice. Just rode out of the corner. Um, I had to woe for this out, but I didn't really woe enough because everyone had been telling me that that line was riding super long and I'd seen a couple people do it and they like almost weren't making it out. So I was like scared. I didn't want to woe too soon, but then I was like, oh, didn't woe soon enough. Overrode this in again. Like I just pushed him at nothing. I don't know why I kept doing that, but the out actually turned out really nice. He backed off, jumped it really cute. Um, so I was really happy with him for this trip. Um... I mean, look at his cute little try. Look at how adorable he is. I feel like my equitation just got better and better this whole horse show. And I thought he got better and better too. I thought he was just 
really really chill and relaxed by the end so this is my um handy round and you can see we had a stop at the first jump and that was just completely my fault i just galloped him out of the corner i was kind of expecting to have the horse that i had the day before you know two days before where he was just going to really run at the jumps but he didn't do that and so i just kind of wasn't expecting that and so i just saw a distance that wasn't there came back around the second time did it perfect um this is probably one of the best trips i've ever ridden minus the first stop but this jump i just woed and then i just rode up to it beautifully it came right out of the corner i probably could have made an inside turn there but i was just like whatever we already had a stop we're not winning might as well just have a chill happy experience and not be too crazy that jump came up beautiful he was actually jumping really nicely this horse show i think that's kind of a consequence of the injections because pre previously he was not a very nice jumper this is the best trot jump i've ever done in my entire life look at that handy turn afterwards we literally turned the stride before we fucking jumped the jump that was gorgeous and then rode out of this corner oh my god so good gorgeous 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 could have rode a little sooner once again queen but it's it's okay everybody makes mistakes um i see how tense he looks through his neck like i'd really love to just get his head carriage a little bit more tucked under um this turn was crazy i didn't know how the fuck to make that turn so i just made that crazy little turn and he actually popped up really nice to jump the jump but i could have done that a lot better and then to the last i just saw a nice ride up in stride to this in and out and it just rode so beautifully and we came to a halt at the gate because sometimes you can do that for derby courses and i just thought you know that'd be a fun thing to do and then we trotted our circle afterwards because um that's like a yousef really okay hi vlog we are packing up to leave now sorry you're getting all these crazy angles right now because i'm trying to be fast gosh i was so so happy with our hand around especially that trot jump i ate anyway we're gonna check out head out and I'll see you guys next week so final day recap honestly pretty happy with it um, the Washington gorgeous one of the best trips I've ever ridden on him so so freaking happy about that I felt like we were really on it really on point and I just felt like in the juniors we weren't quite as on it I felt like I was just not riding as good maybe I was tired maybe he was tired maybe I just felt like he was tired and I was psyching myself out there's a lot that goes on in my head all the time, so it's awesome. Um, love that so much. I felt like he, you know, did his best in the circumstances that he was presented with. I, just in the first trip, I just didn't see distances to two of the jumps, which is, like, not ideal. The handy round, honestly, completely my fault to the first jump. I'm not worried about it. I'm actually thrilled with the handy round. I felt like I rode really well after that first thing. I just kind of messed that up. Basically, what happened is I just kicked him out of the turn because I expected him to take me out of the turn so we'd be going really fast and we'd like make this big huge distance but really I should have just gone for like a more conservative chill whoa and that's not always something that I'm great at doing so just something I need to work on he was really great tried his heart out he bounced back so fast he didn't even think about stopping at it the second time he came to it so that's you know it was completely not his fault and he just felt so confident I feel like these injections really have just like made him feel so much better. I can just feel that he like is more confident, more comfortable. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Uh, there will of course be another vlog coming next week, week two of WEC, WEC week two, if you will. I'm a little bit nervous because I tend to like, when I do well once, I tend to like psych myself out and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to do even better next week. But I know that that's not true. So we're gonna relax, we're gonna have fun. And I'm gonna go shopping because I didn't do that last time. And there's a lot of good shopping there. So. Those are my goals for week two, and I hope to see you all at that vlog. Bye!